guys, John here with Vapor Honing Technologies today showing off the new Micro Hone unit that's available online for purchase. The product does ship UPS ground, it does not ship freight, so that way you have more flexibility. You can deliver it straight to your door uh, while you're at work. You don't have to worry about the hassle of freight and the freight charges that are associated with larger items. What we're doing today is we're actually trying to remove some rattle can paint from a brake caliper off of a KZ650 Kawasaki. Uh, this bike was butchered up pretty bad. Someone had spray painted these calipers. What we're trying to do is peel off this old paint and polish up the aluminum. Normally, if it's powder coated paint, you're gonna have to use a very aggressive media such as aluminum oxide or garnet or crushed glass in a vapor honing cabinet. And today we're gonna to be working with the fine mesh glass bead because we're looking to polish the part. At the same time, we're trying to remove this paint. And I feel pretty confident seeing as how the paint's already come off in areas here that we can actually get this off with the glass bead at 60 PSI and that's 60 working PSI in the micro hone. So let's see what we got. Let's see if we can give this a go here and polish up this part. We're going to focus right here on this uh, bleed off nipple right here and see if we can clean it up some more. Watch the rust come right off. It just washes away. Look at that. 
What you notice me doing too with the gun here <clears throat> is moving the gun around in different angles. As with any vapor honing machine, you have to hit the parts at different angles, especially when you get into these tight little grooves and tight areas here where you're trying to polish. But I mean, look at that, that's incredible. And that's rattle can paint. It's pretty freaking tough right here though. But over in here, it wasn't, it wasn't bonded well at all. But there's the aluminum. That's back to its original glory. But I'm sure you can see where somebody sanded on this part before, like a knucklehead. But uh, yeah, we're trying to polish this piece back up and we're successfully doing that. We even cleaned up this stainless part, but obviously you'd want to replace that. That thing's pretty worn out and beat up. Just wanted to show you how you can clean it up though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.